Gateway Transit We just spoke about the Gateway Transit in the previous video. Let's talk about it with certain pictorial representations. When you allow Gateway Transit, the virtual network can communicate to resources outside the peering. For example, the subnet gateway can then let you communicate with a site-to-site -site VPN so that you can connect to on-premise network. That means in this case, VNet2 can talk to on-premise infrastructure as well because you have a site-to-site -site VPN connection from VNet1 to the on-premise infrastructure. The same thing can happen from VNet1 to other VNets or a point-to-site connection which VNet1 may have. In this case, the VNet2 can talk to all those networks because VNet1 has allow gateway transit enabled. So in these scenarios, gateway transit will allow peer virtual networks to share the gateway and get access to the resources. So all the traffic would then flow through the virtual network gateway. And that means that you do not have to deploy a virtual private network gateway in the peer virtual network. You got to deploy it just once and it can then be used to have communications forwarded to other networks.